Okay, so guys, uh, I've been pouring work into this this new avatar based on the BZ Protogen toolkit that came out uh, for free a couple days ago on Twitter. And outside of just you know showing off the new texture work that I've done for him, uh, I want to uh, show you guys my first real uh, breakthrough addition to this guy. He's got. He's got his famous standby mode, and it looks like my mouth can clip the water shell just uh, just a little bit, maybe sometimes if I'm really loud. But you got animated. Uh, it's backwards because of the mirror, but you see it's a little animated, and then of course I can toggle it off, and it comes off flawlessly. So I had some uh, fears about it, but it seems to be working uh, almost flawlessly, and it. It does show a little bit of the particle effect um, still when you look up there, but I uh, I actually kind of like it, so I'm, I'm keeping it there because it's supposed to be like nanites forming the the second layer, and I think it turned out really good. So I, I'm proud of that, and that's just the first of several crazy ideas I have for this guy. I want to see if I can get uh, the drone I had on one of my old avatars working. Um, not sure how that will pan out. That's kind of a big maybe. But I'm also thinking about like a, since he's supposed to be a cartographer, you know, like a, a space map that can come up and I could easily make a, well, easily, easily, although time consumingly make a, a small holographic uh, thing of the milk, of the, not the Milky Way, the, the Sol system, you know, like the Earth solar system. Um, but I want to make like a, like a kind of like a, a space map that can just pop up holographic. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm curious about it though. Anyway, well, I I wasn't ready. I wasn't sure when I'd be getting a protogen, but ever since that free model came out, I think it's going to be sooner than later.